so hello first of all i would like to say sorry for the loss so i would like to start off with some questions about the game your your pick of omen on the first map on on the first map was quite unexpected so can you walk us through the thought process or the plan that was there on that pick and on that comp in the map yeah i think uh because we show our alt comps lot of so many times and then i think many teams try to figure out how the way that we play so upcoming to genji match we just want to try something new for shanghai so yeah, basically we just testing that honestly and I'm also curious about uh, the result because in scrim, honestly, in practice, we play quite well. But maybe the in the match, we just kind of like have a not a good connection between our initiator and dualist, and everyone not in in the same path. So I think this. Yeah. Uh, okay, so on map two and map three, you guys look quite close. On, on taking especially on icebox but then uh, genji managed to close out the map so where do you think you could have improved on the map like what were the struggling points and how do you think you can improve in the future on those points um i think for icebox is our first official match to play so i think even the result we lost 13 11 i'm, I'm really happy with the way we perform at on that map because first of all we learn we need to learn a, a lot of like advantage angle in that, that match and then how we scaling, how we uh, bomb plan, after plan and some stuff. Yeah, we learned a lot from our second map. So I'm, I'm, I don't need, I don't worry about the, in the future because we have a lot a lesson to learn. But for the bind, um, honestly, we kind of lose the momentum, especially in attacker. And then I'm realized that we need to change our uh, anti-eco because uh, we keep doing the same thing. So enemy is easy to hard counter us. So that's my lesson that I get. And for the rest of the game, I think in Defender, we just kind of play, I can say, too scared sometimes. And then we just didn't taking risks, didn't take a proper duel together with the teammates. Uh, well, thank you. So this is your second time playing, uh, your second time playing Genji. So how do you think their team comps and had their confidence and their play style in general was different from the last time you played them? I think the, the play style they have is same for me, the way they play. It just maybe they have a good read of what we're going to do in all of the maps. And then, yeah, especially in Pistoron, they have a hard counter. So we try to trap them, but they try decide to play contact play and then they know our gap. So yeah, I think that's a round of applause for them. Uh, yeah, I think that's all. Okay, so now moving on. Uh... Master Shanghai. So this will be your first international tournament of the year. So how do you feel going in as an as a new IGL, taking your team to the international stage? How do you feel? And do you have any expectations for the tournament? Yeah, I think I feel very happy, of course, because finally after I uh, taking a long break for competitive, I back again to play in my first international sets in Valorant games. And then I playing in my, I can say my second hometown in Shanghai because that's the beginning of my career. So I'm really happy to meet all of the Chinese fans again. And at the same time, yeah, I was expecting us to perform really well because uh, there's other rookie in my team, like for example, Izu and Rossi, that's their first time also. So it's, it's gonna be a really, really great experience for us. Uh, uh, all right, so now from in the entirety of stage one, do you think there are any takeaways that you can take into Shanghai that will help you improve and help you close out the tournament in your favor? Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, uh, we just need to uh, get more in our map pool. We practice a lot of map pool these days. And then we can, uh, we need to have like certain chance of agent comps also in certain map. So yeah, I think we, we we're going to make a lot of elements of press in Shanghai. Okay, so talking a bit about T1, uh, during the end of last year and, and towards the beginning of this year, there have been a few roster changes in the organization and also a coaching change. So do you think, like, obviously it has helped the team, like, you have now you have now qualified for your first international tournament. Obviously it took some time, but do you think you are at the level that you expected when you first rebuilt the team? And also, can you tell us a bit about the philosophy of this new roster that has been built by T1? Yeah, I think as I think you guys can see also the way we perform at off season and the first stats we perform. Uh, I can say we perform uh, really well, and then that's why a lot of people have high expectation on us. But the thing yeah, is, uh, it's a FPS game. Sometimes you lose, sometimes you win, and then I feel like we hit some 
I can say rock bottom that we need to fix directly before when uh, carpet taking the IGL role. And then when we switch up to my IGL role, uh, we found we're going to the, the right direction. But right now, I think our problem, right, just because uh, about how we can convert when we play in scrim to the match. Because I can see sometimes uh, the way we play just like maybe some under pressure or sometimes we don't we don't have a good communication because communication is a key in this game. Yeah, I think I think the philosophy that uh, our rooster right now we have is we just want to be a champion with this rooster. All right. So a final question from my side: uh, Which of the teams do you are are you looking forward to face in Shanghai? And also, which of the teams would you not like to face in the first day of the tournament? Uh, the team that I wish not like to face is of course Apex team because I want to get experience with other team like AMEA or America teams and maybe if I could say I hope I can meet either Fnatic, Leviathan or or Hunter Thieves. All right, thank you very much. That was all the questions from my side. Thank you for, for thank you for taking the time to agree to this interview and all the best for Master Shengan. Thank you. Thank you both. All the best for Masters.